Hello, I'm here today to show you Nano Stream Cloud. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics. Don't worry, there are plenty of robust features to explore at a later time. In 2022, webhooks and token based access via JWT were introduced to Nano Stream Analytics. In 2023, Nano Stream Guardian was introduced, which allows you to protect your live streams with the touch of a button, making it even easier for you to block misusers of your content. Today we are going to show the basics of using NanoStream Guardian. It's important to note that this feature is new in our NanoStream Analytics version 2.20.1. This marks the milestone 25th anniversary of Nanocosmos. Let's get started. First, we will need to log on. We can use the Bento account that we created in the previous streaming video. Note that we are logging into the metrics dashboard which is different than the Bento dashboard but uses the same login information. Once logged on, you will be greeted with the metrics dashboard's home screen. For the purposes of this video, we are simply going to head over to the breakdown page. However, for a more detailed look at NanoStream Guardian, head over to the Guardian section of the Beside panel. On the breakdown page, we have the ability to filter by data traffic or playback time. There are two main sections for NanoStream Guardian, the IP and Refer sections. This will give you the ability to block misuse either from restreaming the playback or hijacking the stream via access to the individual stream name. Let's first look at the IP section, which can individually be filtered by playback or ingest. Here you will be able to block individual IPs. The playback filter will allow you to block misuse at a viewer level. It's important to note that to block ingest we recommend setting up a custom webhook, but that is outside the scope of this video. Next, let's look at the refer section. In this section, you will see where the playout data is coming from which can be useful when narrowing down misuse from restreaming of your content. Once you have determined misuse, you can simply click the block icon. It's important to note that once blocked, it could take up to five minutes to take effect. Make sure to select the proper value in the list, as this could cause unintended service interruption if incorrectly configured. To remove the block, simply click the block icon and select unblock. That's it for this video. We also have a more in-depth blog article that covers StreamGuard in more detail. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more video tutorials in the future. Happy streaming!